try and fly. It's supposed to rain this afternoon. Gonna look, there's a little gopher. Gunshots going off at the uh, army base. And that was a good little flight. Now time to pack away and go do some work. Another morning here at the bottom of Sopot. Uh, every five minutes or so there's a loud boom and that's because just over there is the army base and they must be setting up off some serious bombs this morning because it is shaken. Might be time to leave. Simon should be here today. Oh, I was this yeah, there you go. Nice. That's Simon. Simon showed up. Yeah, we're going to do some test flying. Lovely, man. Keep running. Look at that sunset, man. So this is a cow's stomach and vinegar soup. Brilliant, actually. Enjoy your trolley. Thanks, man. Found this place. Look at this beautiful mountainscape, and there's caves up there. And we found a hotel for Simon. We're going to fly over there tomorrow. We got the deluxe suite. Tell your envious. My favorite is the children's handprints behind your bed. That's a cool place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Simon got his own toilet, his own bathroom, and his own CRT TV. I wonder if they get channels from like 1990 on the TV. All my scoffing, as Simon pointed out. Look at that view. Not bad, they're ignoring the satellite issues. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool, man. Just over there is Schumann, which we will surely fly this week. Cheese on chips. And polenta and what though? Uh, Hominy with pimzes, molasses or something? It's that or it's it's like a fruit. Yeah, or jam. Some, Some kind of fruit jam. Simon and I going flying today, hopefully, and we're uh, finding the legal path that the local told us to take. So. Uh, I will. Put text on the screen about what this actually is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Wow. <sighs> we found the actual launch, which is good because tomorrow we were going to jump off a cliff. <laughs> so windy, definitely no flying. Right. Back to it, let's go see what else we can find. Yeah, let's go see the fortress. Fortress. This is from Schumann, the west launch, uh, east launch. Well, there doesn't seem to be any internals. It's just massive blocks of... Uh, very cool. Looking for the landing, we uh, have come across this more or less 2,000 year old Roman villa, which no one advertises or mows. I guess it's, but this is amazing. Look, look at this. I do have some info. Get that in the picture. Time to fly. Simon getting ready. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Oh, nice bush kick in. Here nice. comes Ty, showing us how it's done. I'm hoping I haven't sprained it, but it feels like I might have unfortunately. My wing just dropped and when I when I flared uh, nothing happened because I, I had no forward movement and it was too low for the wing to recover and bang hit the ground hard. Chose my feet over my butt. Uh, but yeah I should have peel left and then maybe I wouldn't have hurt my foot. This little fella. It's been sitting here for a couple minutes now. Hey buddy. Oh, look at that. Very pretty. 
It is roasting. And Simon to the rescue. It's got a little something. There's definitely thermals over there. Lovely, and now let's try and keep that path you just had and see if we get that lift back. There it is, beautiful man. I'm currently pretending I'm recording Simon, but actually I'm recording this guy getting licked by his cows. How's they Nikki? Nikki. I don't know who the other one is because they all seem to like him just as much. He's the salt man, he's the Ah, that's right, that's right, they're licking the salt off him. Simon's staying in there. And I lost a flip flop. Wow, the uh, color gradient. When does surprisingly come right at Schumann? Lovely. Lovely, keep running. Beautiful. Let's go get him. Oof, this foot. I was I was wanting a salad, but Simon said no. The healthy option. Yeah. <laughs> Stopped. And the wind is coming back, not so strong now. Control it. Keep running, keep running, keep running. That's it, keep running, keep running. Beautiful buddy, a little bit less break there. Slowly up, slowly up and head to the right. That's it, keep those light on those brakes. Lovely man, lovely. Keep those brakes where they are. Keep leaning forward, keep them where they are. Now you can lean back. Hold on that amount of brake. Go light, a little bit lighter and around to the right. That's beautiful, bud. Lovely. Oh, look at him go. Keep that lean on, keep it on, keep it on. That's perfect, bud. flying for almost three hours now. Awesome mate, well done. I got to uh, take out the camping chair. I think tried sitting on the grass but I got nailed because insects love me. He was up there for four hours and 40 minutes in the end. Uh, well done Simon. Yeah, it's like chaos with the launch. He's uh, having a beautiful flight. It's nice and smooth up there. Restitution. Goodbye, Simon. Goodbye, <laughs> Goodbye Simon. Simon. There Fantastic we go, week. Nice. Yeah, it was awesome, man. Thank uh, so I think I'm gonna go do some Wi-Fi at Little, pick up some food for a week, and go park up a mountain while my foot heals. This looks great because last night at 4 a.m. and all through the night, I had people showing up at that car park on the top of a mountain uh, and parking right next to me in a car park big enough for like 50 cars and banging music all night. So. Busy. It'll be nice to be somewhere quiet tonight. But it's a lovely night. It was completely quiet. Not a single hoon. <sighs> well, that was a slightly less quiet night. I'm gonna drive to the internet and do some work. I left the car park because kids started showing up and playing their music super loud. And then uh, so I went to the forest spot and as I pulled up there were two cars there and they were playing music even louder. Oh, I just need somewhere quiet and I feel a bit sick. I'm tired and I need to sleep. It's seven o'clock this morning, people banging on the My eyes are hurting today, my head's hurting. Um, struggling. But it's okay, tomorrow's my birthday. It's the brightest satellite I've ever seen. It's an aeroplane because there's no noise and no blinking lights. So. I have no idea what that thing was. It was very, very bright and then going all the way across the sky for like 30 seconds and then all of a sudden, within a couple seconds, it got really small and disappeared. Oh. As much as I'd love to believe it's an alien, I don't think it was. But so, I'm going to the gym. That, that gym was for women only. I'm limping slowly towards fitness. Be back in the gym. Can only do upper body. First gym session as a 41 year old man. And let the feasting begin. Stranger things. It's my birthday treat. Chocolate ghetto 
to finish off birthday. Gym, cake, pizza, Netflix, otherwise no bad birthday. I'm just stretch my foot and go for a forest pee. It's taken a really, really long time to heal, but I can limp on it. I have to be out of Bulgaria in about a month and a half. The size of this guy is huge. Whoa. It is morning time. And it is raining and thunder. Oh, what's the date? I think it's the 11th of June. I'm still here around Schumann. I just went for my first proper walk, maybe 20 minutes. Look at this guy. I think he's a cricket, but he's got armor. Nest Ooh. of spiders. Oh, is that a big one? Covered in babies? Oh my god. It's a nightmare fuel right there. Running across the road. Good speed, buddy. Good speed. Keep walking. Raining, raining, raining. It's really June now. Maybe two more weeks if my foot hasn't healed, and I will definitely go to the doctor. Yeah, so something's going on up here by our parking. A lot of cake in there. I have no idea what this is, but it looks good. And they got loads of food here. Looks like war was happening in the evening. Yeah, it's been about a month now since I crashed, so. I did get the number of a doctor who's also a paraglider here in Schumann and I've messaged him because it hurts. I was very lucky there was a friendly fella in there, uh, translated for me, stuck with me most of the time. It only took like an hour. The doctor touched my foot in two places, said go get an x-ray. They took me to the x-ray, the woman said no we closed. But the guy was like come on he crashed his paraglider so she did the fastest x-ray phone in my pocket, metal everywhere, she just lay me down, turned me in two directions, gave me my x-ray, doctor looked at it, prescribed me some medication, which no one can tell me what it is, said it was fractured when it happened, but it's okay now, so just time apparently, kind of, he didn't really say much of anything, he just said it's not fractured, he'll take this medicine, but he looked at it for like two seconds, so but anyway, assuming he's right, then the foot should heal on its own. So this is still Schumann. These are much older looking buildings. Don't know what that was. And, uh, yeah, it's the main drag. <laughs> this is such a bizarre looking building. There's hope. Been uh, staying on this street quite a few nights you know, because the gym's just around the corner. Gym people helped me organize to go to this orthopedic surgeon today. Well, that was mostly a waste of time and money. I am at the beach, Varna in Bulgaria, along with it seems everyone else in Bulgaria at the moment. I'm gonna get changed, put a swimming costume on, and go have my first swim of the year. Yeah, no. Nah. Skip this one. So that's the Bulgarian beach. Again, Varna. A quick drive around, see if there's any parkings, see if I'm going to stay in Varna or. Well, I just found the most beautiful gym. This is just one tiny part of it, it goes all the way around the corner. Time to go and get a haircut to see what Basri has to offer. And that was simultaneously the longest and worst haircut I've ever had. 
so friendly and happy with his job I didn't have the height to tell him so so I just said yeah great job but uh, he just cut off my sideburns and chunks of hair sticking up everywhere and he spent like an hour all he had to do was shave my head this anyway. is basically my home at the moment construction site over there been parked there for about four or five days now there's Carrefour for my dinner and the gym is just around the corner foot's getting better been here almost a month now in Varna I only went to the beach that once when I got eaten alive by insects. Vaughan wasn't my favorite spot. I'm sure it has some nice things, but I wasn't quite in the mood for them with the busted foot and some other bits and pieces. One more week and then Bunaziwa, Romania. The Vana monument, which I've seen in the distance for a while. Let's go have a look what this one looks like. Looks like this one might be shut down. There's something about hell on it. Different. The monument in Rather than go to the beach, I'm doing some practical exercise in the sun, hopefully getting a tan. Climbing these stairs, see if I can get my foot working. This is the last workout, it was a good one. Let's see. Put on about four, five kilos of muscle or something. Drive north now, about an hour and a half, two hours to border. Let's go to the beach in uh, Romania. Yeah, one month. And here we are at the Romanian border. I hope they don't do the, oh you're a truck, you have to be in the truck lane thing again. That was super easy. I'm now in Romania. This is Vamavece, there's the beach. First flight in two months. Ten minutes after getting here. These two have come out and started screaming at us, saying they're going to call the police. We're not doing anything near them. You going to try? It wasn't a great flight. And these people came out and started shouting. So I am just going to go to the beach. It is fucking roast. Let's go down to the nudist beach. Oh, look at all that lovely green slime. Green slime and penises, just where you look for it. Uh, you go head down to the beach. So they're going to have to stop recording now, I think, otherwise I'm going to get a lot of naked people in here. Down at the beach, saw way more scrotums than I'm comfortable seeing. Call me a prude if you must, but uh, I'm not going to stay for another day. That was enough for me. Park there for now, maybe for the night. And I've seen people swimming. Water is beautiful. Fresh water. Nice and cool, it's actually quite a current and it drops like right here till you can't touch the ground. But you can still swim against it. It's uh, beautiful. Oh, nice and fresh. It's a good way to end the day, it was so hot today. Oh, fish. See all the people staying here this evening. I need to go out for a walk because I'm hot, because I'm sunburnt. And it's warm in the car. Back in Romania. Heading out for a morning walk along the Danube. And off to Brasov. I think we've got about a four hour drive. And 
back in Brasov. Feels good. I like it. I'm going to go get some food from my favorite dining establishment, Carrefour. Yep, for two months. Unless something changes. Cool. Thank you, Ritzy Bubbles. Drive this one.